What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another episode of Giants Franchise. A couple of things to go over before we get going here into week number two. So, we won last week if you didn't see, 52-28 over the Eagles. And as I like to do, we'll take a, a deep dive into the comments section. And Well, not that deep of a dive, we're going to touch the surface. Basically, I'm going to sum up what a lot of people have said is that the series is not as interesting, exciting, and overall fun to watch when I'm beating everyone by a considerable margin, 52-28. If you guys think that I enjoy smashing the CPU, I don't. It's not fun for me. I know it's not a fun series. We tested out these new sliders that they are nearly to the exact specifications of the actual slider set. And I even at the end of the episode, I turned down pass blocking even more. So, the fact that we tried out the new slider set and destroyed the CPU, pretty much, 50 to 28, sorry. I, I wish that hadn't happened. I wish it was a closer game, obviously. So, what I've decided to do, and some people will be annoyed by this, some people will not be, uh, I'm no longer going to user the linebacker for the time being. When I can come in with user ability, which is the only thing I'm good at, in Madden, as you guys may very well know. Uh, I, I change the game far too often with one player. So when I have three user picks with Alex Espinoza, and I have a user pick with Lorenzo Carter, I believe. I think both of those happen in week one. Those are four turnovers that you could make a fair argument wouldn't have otherwise happened. So when I capitalize on three of those four offensive possessions... That's 21, 28, we'll say roughly 20 points that we wouldn't have otherwise had. So you take the 50 to 28, maybe it's 30 to 28. That's a four-point game. Um, that's obviously a lot more interesting to watch than what we ended up having. So Lorenzo Carter, yeah, he had an interception, Landon Collins. So we only had two non-user picks that game, but it accounted for six interceptions or something ridiculous. So I do apologize for the people that do like to see the user pick and the easy reads and all that. But we're going to go ahead and try this game with this current lineup um, and pretty much these current sliders and see what we can do. Because I don't want... We're, we got to turn wide receiver catching up. It was just way too many open drops. People told me to turn it up. I think that's fine. Pass block, we're going to go to 48. Um, I like the quarterback play of Carson Wentz other than the the user picks i think everything from the cpu is fine for right now we're going to experiment some more i'll be using the defensive line and essentially watching the games on defense and then having the people that stumble upon the videos and say oh you fucking suck when i lose so can't wait for that we're higher overall but it will be pretty close i'm excited i think this should be a better game uh rest in peace easy reads for the time being we'll see how things go cowboys giants one of the age-old rivalries of the NFL, you think, you know, Cowboys, Giants, Packers, Bears. This is right up there with uh, some of the oldest and most storied rivalries in the entire National Football League. And hopefully today uh, we will have one of those fantastic games that goes down in history of both the National Football League and this franchise for one of the best games. Only time will tell, as I am excited. And it should be a very interesting thing. We're going to get probably more sacks than usual since I'm using the defensive line. Although, it's not necessarily true. We'll see. I think a good number of interceptions per game is roughly two, and a good number of sacks is roughly four. So, we'll see how this plays out. We're going to kick off first, return at halftime. This should be a pretty good one. Oh, that's a fumble. Oh, my goodness. Lorenzo Carter playing special teams comes down and forces the fumble and We don't see many of those so I am very excited To get on offense right here out of the gate. We're gonna call a screenplay Sterling Shepard Nowhere to go. It's gonna be a loss of two. That was a very fortuitous start for the boys in blue Second and 12 now after the failed screen we're going to see what's open. And Evan Ingram is. Can't get the ball to him. Taco Charlton off the right edge. Beating the now veteran left tackle, Trent Brown, for the sack. And we're looking at third and 18. 
Just, just give me a second. I want to get into field goal range. That's not who I meant to throw to. It's picked off. Jalen Smith with the interception. And wow, that is one of our worst offensive possessions of the entire franchise. That was absolutely terrible. I don't like how Roman Pugh and Olivier Vernon are switched to where they usually are. I'm also using the middle linebacker by accident. I'm going to choose not to intercept that. It would have been an interception. 100%. Um, but I said I'm not going to do that for this episode. So even though I would have gotten an interception there, like 99% sure I would have, I, I didn't. What I probably should have done is use L1 to deflect the pass so it wasn't completed. But that, you know, of course, hindsight's 20-20. As the run is going to be to Ezekiel Elliott. Wrapped up from behind by Dalvin Tomlinson. It's a gain of five. Will be third down and five. Get after the quarterback. That's going to be wide open over the middle. Alex Espinoza wraps up the tight end. Austin Hooper, the new Dallas Cowboy. This is also our first look, really, at the rookie Lawrence Thomas. Was a top ten pick for us to maybe be the eventual replacement for Damon Harrison to go alongside uh, Dalvin Tomlinson as Austin Hooper once again is wide open over the middle of the field. That's the thing that you don't see when I'm usering. The middle of the field is not open. Austin Hooper, four catches now, dominating. It's gonna be a run. Swallow it, let's go. Dalvin Tomlinson swallows it up. Ezekiel Elliott, nowhere to go, will be third and one. From the nine. Let's get a stop here. I'm going to use your Roman Pugh along the outside. Let's see if we can get to the quarterback. He's got a tough matchup today on Tyron Smith. And it's going to be a read option. Lorenzo Carter shuts it down. Tell me he's short. Fourth down and one. Looks like Dallas will settle for the field goal try. And I am sure that will be, that will be good. Here's a handoff to Barkley. Pretty good block. We're going to get a pretty huge pickup there. Easy first down as we're approaching midfield. Chidobi Awuzie on the tackle. And off again is going to go to Barkley. We're going to try to cut this to the outside. Juke back. Nowhere to go. That is wrapped up by Alexander. Could that be Mackenzie Alexander on the Cowboys now? It, it probably is, actually. Second and four. Kershaw is going to step into the game, but we're throwing. And we're throwing to Evan Ingram. The tight end. Makes one miss, bowls over another. He's down at 37. Kyle Oletta beginning to find a little bit of rhythm here after what can only be described as a rough start. I definitely didn't like that. And that is going to be picked off by Jordan Lewis. We were looking for Caesar McKay. And Jordan Lewis stepped in front excellently. Looked like he was playing a hard flat. 62 yards to the house on the pick six. He was in man, he just, Caesar McKay is not the guy in man coverage, clearly. So we can't really trust Kyle, it seems at this stage, and uh, I know. Those throws were my fault, I should not have made them. And uh, we paid dearly two interceptions for Loletta here in the first quarter. Seems like when I'm not usering on defense, the offense struggles heavily. We're gonna throw that pass, Odell Beckham Jr. That's Kyle Loletta. Is back to finding that rhythm, hopefully. That's open. Sterling Shepard holds on. I don't really see him uh, getting touched there. I'll take the first down, and we are rolling. It's gonna have to be Odell. Odell's gonna have to lead the charge. He's the best receiver on this team by a country mile. Arguably the best player in offense. We're gonna take a shot. Odell makes the catch! Let's go, baby! Odell Beckham Jr. gets us back on the board with an incredible spectacular catch for his 50th career touchdown hitting the whip in Arlington Texas we are on the board incredible catch by Odell we got the one-on-one -on -one matchup I'll take that any day of the week that's a mismatch Let's play action to the flat Landon Collins big hit and he recovers the fumble Ezekiel Elliott coughs it up and that hit stick is uh, really doing us pretty well here. We are getting back in the ball game. We might take, if Odell's in one-on-one -on -one coverage, what we might do is fade Evan Ingram and take one-on-one -on -one over the top. We have it. We have it. 
Odell, go up and get it. Can't quite. Maybe had Evan Ingram. I didn't trust the matchup. We have Odell. I mean, it, it's an easy one-on-one -on -one that we have to take when we get that opportunity. And call play action. And look to step up. Look for anything open. We're going to throw that just away. It's just... It's, the pressure came in too quick where he had to step up in the pocket. I didn't like it. They rushed only three, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They were in there too quick. We would have been sacked. So, we'll unfortunately have to settle for a punt here. Nice play action. Somebody got to get after the quarterback. Oh, one-on-one -on -one for Morris Dubose, who makes the interception. We also get a block. Let's go, Morris. Morris Dubose with interceptions in back-to-back -back weeks. We have one-on-one -on -one with Odell. We go up. We go to Odell. He makes the plays. You can't go one-on-one -on -one against Morris Dubose. He's too good now. He is too good. We might have another one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Odell as well. Going over the top. Beckham! Can't quite. We're just going to throw it to Saquon. He makes the catch. Bowl him over! Saquon Barkley is going to be super close to the first down marker. It's going to be fourth and inches probably from the 23. This is a very interesting decision. It's a 40-yard field goal to tie it up. Let's see if we can't come out and goal line or something and punch it across. That ball is so close to being over the line. If we can get him on the hard count and get him to jump off sides, it should be big. I'm going to hand the ball off. We got a good matchup here. Saquon Barkley, first down, easy. He's going to stay on his feet as well. Saquon Barkley, unbelievable. Seems like every single week he's doing something crazier. We're going to hand the ball off to Barkley on third and five. We're going to have blocks maybe. Saquon Barkley breaking tackles. He's short. It's going to be fourth down and inches again from the seven. Do we come out in the same look? We might try a quarterback sneak. That ball is so close to being over the line. Kyle Lillette is going to be able, to, able uh, to easily get this. He went to the wrong hole. We got the first down, but what are you doing, Kyle? I'm holding left. He dives right. I flipped it. Why did it flip back? Carlos. Not Carlos. Yeah, it is Carlos Kershaw. He's in the game now. He's going to get the handoff. He has the touchdown. Carlos Kershaw, the rookie out of Penn State. As uh, he's playing hide and seek, maybe with the rest of the New York Giants. I'd like to see that. I don't know. No one could find Kershaw on that one. That's a great shed. That's a great shed and tackle in the backfield. BJ Goodson and Damon Harrison. Third and 14. Is man coverage a bad idea here? What are our matchups looking like? I think we have the personnel for this. We're going to run it. Get after Prescott. Lobbed it. And that is complete over the head of Nat DeGear. First down for the Cowboys. 20 yards on the pickup. Thought man coverage was a good look, but it uh, goes against us that time. My defensive tackles did not pinch. Pew coming off the edge. Prescott breaks a tackle. Throws open for Dante Moncrief. Dubose makes the tackle. How do we not pick up the sack? The clock doesn't stop here, depending on the result of this play. Trying to get after the passer, and it's knocked down. That is a fantastic play by the rookie, Julius Manning. Third down and 10. Do we blitz again? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. We're just going to have Espinosa get as close to Hooper as possible. Get to Dak. Moncrief can't hold on. Good play from Janoris Jenkins. Dallas going to settle for the field goal. We'll have about a minute and 40 seconds. I know less than that. Maybe a minute 35 after the kickoff. Minute 30 to go down this field and score a touchdown. We're going to be up one. We receive at half. We're in the driver's seat still. What about Saquon out of the backfield? It's a sack. And a timeout from Dallas. Taco Charlton beating Trent Brown again. It's third and 11. First, he's going to streak Barkley. And uh, we're going to block Williams in the backfield. Something could get open here. We're just going to check down to Odell. 
and uh, stay in bounds. Dallas going to call a timeout. We're going to punt the ball back to him. Not a great offensive series from us again. The sacks hurt. The sacks are killing us. 20 seconds. Dallas still not opting to use a timeout for whatever reason. And that is going to be a check down. B.J. Goodson all over Austin Hooper. 15 seconds. Do we send heat there? They just might take a shot to the end zone. I think if we can get to them before that, that would be ideal. It's going to be a throw to the flats. Julius Manning can't wrap up. They get the first down. They will maybe, maybe have time to get this snap off. And they do. Maybe a last shot at the end zone. Prescott throwing deep. It's picked off by Jalen Mills. We have a little bit of room to run here. Jalen Mills is going to step out of bounds. But his first interception as a New York Giant. Jalen Mills comes up semi-big. Makes the play. Shuts down any hope of a Dallas touchdown. A couple turnovers for them. A couple turnovers for us. But we're going to start the third quarter. Caesar McKay back to return. Third and eight. What do we do here? Evan Ingram could be wide open. Wayne Gallman checks into the game. And what are you what are you doing, Kyle? These under pressure throws are terrible. Jordan Lewis with the second interception of the game. And we are still struggling offensively. How do we carve up the Eagles but struggle this badly against the Cowboys? This is unbelievable. They're going to run the ball. Shut it down. Janoris Jenkins. The unlikely New York Giant to make the tackle. He doesn't even start anymore. As we are potentially looking to trade him. But comes up huge there. Big loss of four. As we continue to try and shut down this Dallas rushing attack. That's got to be a pick. It's good defense. Who was that? I don't know. Third and 14. Get after the quarterback. Great play by B.J. Goodson to knock that one away. Dallas is going to punt right back. Third and four. What do we want to do here? We got Odell one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. We actually might want to slant that. Let's see. That's going to be picked up. Outside. Ingram wide open. First down. I right, just need blocking on this. We've carved up defenses with this before. We're going to do it again. Evan Ingram diving touchdown. As we extend the lead, Evan Ingram gets over the top of the defense. Kyle Aletta drops it in the bucket. 34 yards in the air to the house. A little bit more than 34 yards in the air. That is a great pass from Kyle Aletta. Potentially solidifying himself as the starter. I don't know who else we go to at this current time. We are up 21-13. We have an eight-point lead with 10 and a half minutes to play. Got to continue to shut out the Cowboys. Well, we're not shutting them out. We got to continue to shut them down. We've been trying to dial up pressure all game. Turning up the heat, and it remains a nice, cool temperature in the room. And that is one-on-one. -on -one. That's a mismatch. Alan Hearns on Jalen Mills. And still no one's tackling him, man. Jalen Mills, you're killing me. Ah, oh. one on one, he gets mossed by Alan Hearns. Where is the safety help? I mean, that's bad. One on one, Dubose knocks it away. Morris Dubose has transitioned the first year to a decent cornerback who made some plays occasionally, was sometimes a liability. To win his second year, a lockdown, shutdown cornerback. And that is tremendous to see. I think one of the best in the league is Pew. Maybe you're going to dial up the pressure. You can't throw. Edmo. Morris Dubose. Another pass deflection. Third and ten. Get there, Pew. He's lobbing it up over the head of Jalen Mills and Lorenzo Carter. And Dante Moncrief this time is the one who beats Jalen Mills. The free agent pickup in this offseason, he does have an interception this game. But what he also has is uh, he's been torched this drive. 
torched, and that's wide open. We sent heat. Couldn't, no one got there, even close. Austin Hooper, wide open. 21-21. It's a good game, though. Give it that. Third and six. Oh, I really like a run to the outside here. If we can cut this off to the right. We just, we just didn't get what we wanted to. I trucked way too early. I expected uh, contact, and we actually had a block that got picked up. It's going to be fourth and three, and we're going to have to punt the ball right back to him. This is a tough ask for some of our players. But I need you to man up. I need you to play good man coverage. Just play action. Get there. It's wide open. Jalen Mills is torched again. Oh, you are going to find the bench in a hurry. Roman Pugh, someone win a battle. Oh my goodness. Janoris Jenkins plays airtight coverage on Quincy Anunwa. That's one of the first times we've called his name today. He's going to get the catch, his, his second of the game. Dallas is threatening. Get after the quarterback. Come on. Make the hit. Jalen Mills, at the very least, wraps up. Thank you. Second and goal now from the eight. We're going to stay in Tampa, too, for the for the most part. I like what it offers us. Just, just don't get lobbed over the top on. That's the only thing. A Lawrence Thomas. Nobody's there. Julius Manning hits post Scarborough pretty hard, but it doesn't matter. He's into the end zone for his first career touchdown to take the lead with less than five minutes to play. All right, playing from behind now. Our offense really has not been able to find that rhythm all game. But we do have the opportunity to tie here. And this man, Saquon Barkley, could be a big reason why. Very close to 100 yards on the game. I imagine that he'll probably get 30 touches, so we'll probably get it. Uh, and I do want to keep the ball on the ground on second and two. There's no reason to go to the air here. There's no reason to potentially turn over the ball. It's two yards. It's one of the best running backs in the NFL. And he's showing why. Barkley into the open field. Down at the 50, he pushes over 100. We throw the ball here. It's Wayne Gallman. Don't take the ball. Wayne Gallman, pickup of 20 on the play. Kyle Aletta approaching 200 yards, passing. And we are actually driving down the field pretty quickly. I don't really want to slow this down because I want to just secure a touchdown. We might even have a chance to win. We have a good defense. So we need players to step up and make big time plays. There's Odell over the middle. First down. We're going to move into the hurry up. I think if we can score quickly, we will have time to come back and score. We're going to just have to take the football back. First things first, though, let's get into the end zone. Dump it off to Saquon. It's a no-brainer. Let's score before the two-minute warning. Come on. Evan Ingram right up the seam. That could be the look. That could be the look. It's not. We're going to go back to Saquon. The Cowboys are on strip ball aggressive. That's going to mean... Uh, more missed tackles for us, but if they take the football, we are screwed. We go up. DeMar Jacobs can't get the feet in bounds. We had the matchup. We had the man. And it will be third and goal from the six. Carlos Kershaw is the back. And we're going to trust him here. We're going to hand the ball off. Carlos Kershaw touchdown. His second on the game. And the rookie out of Penn State providing another huge touchdown for us. This one, obviously, the bigger of the two. It's going to be 28-28. Just over two minutes to play. I feel like we could have taken more time off the clock. I just felt like if we didn't score, if we turned over the football, I wanted time to get it back. And I want time to potentially take the football back from the Cowboys and drive down the field and score. This is a winnable game. Oh my god. Oh, do not scare me like that. Let's see how Dallas tries to manage the clock here. They could run the ball a lot. They're going to. Big hit from Landon Collins. There's the two-minute warning. They're already close to midfield. How do we want to play this? I'm not sure if they're going to start, you know, amping up the intensity and start throwing the ball. They could still run it. There is time. 
That's a screen. That's a screen. Somebody get over there. Espinoza, please, from behind. Big tackle on Zeke. Who approaches the 50? We didn't read that well. We blitzed. It was the perfect call from Dallas to run a screen there. What is our what is our D-line doing? What is going on? What is going on? They have a free play. You have to be you have to be kidding me here, dude. It's, oh, the defensive line, just OV trying to go through two defensive tackles to get back to his spot instead of running over. And they're of course they're gonna decline. The clock stops. We there's a minute 39. I'm gonna start using your linebacker. I need to shut it down. Defensive line, I'm hindering their opportunity to shed blocks. Good stuff. We're going to have to call a timeout. We have to shut down the run here. We have to commit to it. Somebody wrap up. Thank you, Dalvin Tomlinson. It's going to be a big third down. We're going to play the pass here because I think we'd be foolish not to. But if they run the ball, we're going to have time to shut it down. We're going to have time to stop them. Call a timeout. Here's the run. Someone wrap up. Espinoza can't. Jalen Mills can. Dallas likely will go ahead here with a field goal, making it 31-28 with a minute and 20 to play. It's not going to be easy to come back in this game. Kick is up. Splits the uprights, 31-28, going to be a minute and 20 to play. We're going to take the opportunity now and bring a defensive player onto special teams. That is a surefire difference maker because of the speed. That is obviously Morris Dubose. He is the best return man on this team, and overall, he also has, well, maybe Odell's close, but we wouldn't put Odell out there. He also has 99 speed. If we can get an opportunity to find a lane, do we return this? I think 99 speed we do. 83 needs to block. What are you doing? What are you doing, Caesar Mack? That's unbelievable. He stands around and waits for something to happen. And that's a sack. I mean, nobody got open. Taco Charlton with his third of the game. Despite, uh, we had like an 80-something overall left tackle in Trent Brown. Like 85, and he's still letting him three sacks to Taco fucking Charlton. Come on, Odell. It's picked off by Green. The ball just hung up in the air for a year. Oh my god, we're gonna lose here. The, the sacks are killing us, dude. Taco Charlton should not be able to have three sacks against Trent Brown. It just should not happen. Dallas in victory formation. They're gonna come away with the win here. That is your ball game. 31-28 is your final. And, of course, I love this overlay glitch. Dak Prescott uh, was pretty good. Two interceptions. He had an all right game. Kyle Aletta was horrific. Uh, a lot of that is coming from no time to throw the ball and throws under pressure. The offensive line was brutalized today. Saquon Barkley, pretty good per usual. Couldn't get in the end zone. Carlos Kershaw, two touchdowns on three carries receiving. Uh, Odell was pretty good. He had a touchdown. Touchdown also for Evan Ingram. Uh, Jalen Mills needs to be better, but Trent Brown cannot allow three sacks. That can't happen. Alex Espinosa led the game with 10 tackles. A couple tackles for loss for a number of players. Three sacks for Taco Charlton. One for Demarcus Lawrence. We got zero sacks, despite having our sick offensive line. Jordan Lewis with two picks. Jalen Mills with a pick. TJ Green with an interception to ice the game. An interception for Morris DuBose and Jalen Smith. Force fumbles for Landon Collins and Lorenzo Carter. Recoveries for Landon Collins and a defensive touchdown for Jordan Lewis. So we have a few upgrade points here. Damon Harrison being one of them. As I think we're going to go back into run stopper as his block shedding has gotten worse. He's not getting after the quarterback anyway with that speed. We're going to get him back up to an 89 overall. And that boosts block shedding only by one. Regression sucks. Antoine Todd also has an upgrade point. Run stopper might as well. He plays left outside linebacker now. That's why his overall is up to an 80 opposed to uh, it would be a 76 now as he was at a 75. The rest of these upgrades do not really matter. And um, yeah, interesting game. It was a close one, obviously. Uh, what we're going to do is I just want to see something here because Trent Brown is a pass block specialist. That's what he does. 
He has 86 pass block. He doesn't run block particularly well, but he has 86 pass block. I just want to see what Taco Charlton has because, I mean, we were sacked multiple times uh, very quickly by Taco Charlton. Let's just let that sink in for a minute. Uh, he's going to be listed at left end here. Taco Charlton has 85 finesse move. I don't know. I feel like that should just be a little more even. So I turned pass blocking down to a 48. We're going to bump that up to a 50. Just very minor. And then CPU pass blocking, I'm going to turn down to a 25. Their offensive line held up well. They're a good offensive line. I don't expect that much, but we just didn't get any pressure either. So I think 25 could be a better number for now. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. It was a fun episode. Couldn't come away with a win, but I think that's better for the longevity of the series as well. That's going to do it, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.